They got us again, man. Turn the lights off on us. We're gonna keep rolling right in the mid set, too. Ah. That's just disrespectful. Ah. But we're gonna keep rolling. We got work to do. What's up, guys? Jordan Natural Neville's here, and I thank you for coming and joining again today. You see the N and you see the F. That's always Neville's Fitness, but Natural Fitness as well. Now today, I want to take you through one of the best shoulder routines that you can possibly do to get that round 3D delt look, all right? I'll take you through exercise by exercise, rep by rep, give an instruction, and show you how I break it down so that you can get one of the best looks you can possibly get to go with your shoulders. Now, without further ado, let's jump right in. You know I love to start with the activation exercise. So something that's really going to get the mind and muscle connected, it's going to give you a great pump to start out the workout. So we're going to start with reverse cable flies, all right? So a lot of people neglect working the rear delt. You see people doing a lot of presses, a lot of flies, but if you get about the old lonely rear delt back there, that rear delt is crucial because that's what's going to give you that 3D pop and really make the shoulder stand out and give that round look to it. So we're going to put that as number one priority. We're going to hit the rear delts first, then we'll work backwards. We'll hit the rear delt, then we'll come to the side medial, then we'll want the front delt, okay? So we're going to start with a cable exercise here. Show you guys what we're lined up. I got the arm here lined up in hole number six. Here on the width, I got it in hole number seven, all right? So I'm about five foot 11. If you're about that height, that's gonna probably do well for you, okay? So start there and you can always adjust. Now, I'll jump right in, I'll grab here. I like to grab a hold of the ball just cause it feels like you get a little bit better of a pull there instead of the handles. It allows you to kind of take the arms out and just really drive with the rear delt and squeeze, all right? <clears throat> so set up here. You'll see when I raise my arm straight out, I'm right here, my arm and my shoulder are on the same height, all right? That's where you wanna be. A lot of people do them up high, there's different variations. This is how I prefer it. So give it a shot and let me know how you like it. So we're gonna start here, make sure we're tucked back, all right? So scapula is retracted a bit, we're stuck back in. Now the rear depths can fire, all right? So I'm not gonna rub forward and pull here. I'm not gonna drive and squeeze as hard as I can. I'm gonna retract the shoulder blades, squeeze the rear delts. When they're lengthened, boom, that's where I stop, okay? You don't have to go back super far right there and squeeze. So every single time, it's a hard flex and hard squeeze. So I'm using this first set just as a warm-up set. I'm just connecting with the muscle, getting the mind-muscle connection firing, make sure the rear delt is moving and firing. So that way when we get into our real sets, I'll already be ready to rock and roll, all right? So this is just a warm-up set here. All right. Got a little blood flowing. That's exactly what we want to do with the cable flies. First exercise, right? So I'll go up a little bit. We're going to hit four sets of 20. Make sure you're really driving and squeezing. Remember, hard contractions, time under tension, intensity. That's the name of the game, all right? Especially if you're a natural athlete, that's how you're going to get the muscles to shape and form and get that incredible physique that you want, right? Now, on these rear delts, you don't need super crazy heavy weight. You'll see 40, 50 pounds, or number four, number five on the stack. That's all you need right there, okay? You can work yourself up from there. Let's get it. Squeeze, control. <clears throat> Always control in, let the rear delts let it back in. <clears throat> when you get towards the end of the set, if you can't get it all the way out, this is where the partial reps come in handy, all right? And these are really crucial because you're still getting work even though you're not getting further back. For your partials, even if you're just pulling here, but if you're activating the shoulder and you're really <clears throat> squeezing with the rear delt, you're still gonna get that work in, okay? So I may not be able to go super far, but if I'm still keeping technique tight <clears throat> and squeeze, <clears throat> squeeze, <clears throat> ah, you really feel a deep, deep burn right there. And you're, you're gonna feel it right from that first couple sets. The shoulders are gonna feel puffed up, they're gonna feel tight, because you're getting that blood in there and you're really activating the rear delt, which a lot of people, like I said, forget to do, all right? So we're starting with that. We got three sets left, we'll go up. Remember, partials do work, all right? So even if you can't get the full range of motion, partial it out, make sure you get all 20 reps. Second exercise, so we're going right into the pec deck. Remember, we're staying on that rear delt, we're going to hammer that out, and then we'll move into the rest, all right? So let's go through the setup on the rear pec deck, how we're going to use it, all right? So 
as I said, I'm about five foot 11. I like to set the seat right underneath the number four number, okay, if you're using this particular machine. When I set up, the reason I choose that is because when I put my arm straight out, I want the wrist and shoulder in alignment, okay, because that's where the pressure is going to be. So you want it in straight alignment there. Now, when you put the hands on there, you don't want the hand to sink down because what's that going to do? It's going to make the shoulder, rather the elbow, sink down in there too. So you're going to be pulling here, okay? So when I do grab it, I just make sure I roll the wrist up so the wrist is locked and straight. Now you're in good alignment here. The shoulders, boom, perfect position. Shoulder blades are retracted a bit. Hands are nice and tight. Wrists are locked. Now I can drive into the machine. I can drive into this handle with that part of the hand there and that's going to activate the rear delt and shoulder now i can just drive with the rear delt and just squeeze okay so that's how we're going to set it up we're going through four sets of 20 reps staying on 20. while we do 20 the rear delt really responds well to higher reps i found out okay so that's what we want to stay on on 20 reps four sets let's get it nice and tall drive and squeeze all right the chest is always going to be up i don't want to hunch forward here i want to be in good posture i'm here tight squeeze drive and squeeze when i get to the back i'm getting a <clears throat> hard squeeze in the back <clears throat> hard squeeze in the back <clears throat> good deal one warm up set then i'll get into that four set of 20 reps right so just work yourself up until you reach that max weight where you're going to be able to use that for your four sets of 20. same thing applies on these when you can't get them back far enough Continue to do the pulses, continue to do the partial reps, because that's still gonna give you a great benefit, all right? So let's get these four sets in. Remember the intensity, intensity is key, key to everything. It doesn't mean you're screaming all crazy and you know, that's not intensity. Intensity is how much pressure and tension you can keep on the muscle with the mind and how hard you can contract that muscle. That's intensity, all right? So just remember that. Keep everything intense, hard muscle contractions, always keeping the tension on the targeted muscle. Control. Woo! That's a good 20. It's feeling good, it's feeling good. So I'm gonna go up a little bit for the next three sets. Same technique applies, all right? The reason I start light is because you get that connection down. And then when you go heavier, nothing changes. Everything stays the same. The intensity, technique, all of it stays the same. All your only variable you're changing is just the weight, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up three more sets, bust these out, and we're on to the next. So the third and final exercise that we're gonna do for the rear delts, we're gonna to go to the dumbbells, all right? So that old school dumbbell rear delt fly, okay? So we're gonna do two variations. First one will be pinkies up, then we'll call them palms up and do it like that, okay? We'll do 10 reps of each for a set of 20, all right? So to bend over, we'll go over technique first. I'm here. I don't wanna just swing. First, we'll start with the arms. Let them hang, okay? So I'm bent over, low back's tight. Butts back, hamstrings tight. Let the arms hang down. Now, retract shoulder blades, boom. Now you're in moving position, all right? From here, we can boom, boom. Look, contracting, boom, right there, squeezing. You don't have to go super high up. Then the rear delts kick off and the upper back will take over, right? So we wanna keep the pressure, tension on the rear delts. We're pinky up for 10, then palms out, or palms in rather, boom, for 10, all right? So 20 reps, 10 and 10, let's get it, all right? Squeeze. I'm barely squeezing the dumbbells. I'm just holding them. I'm letting the rear delts do all the work. Good. Squeeze at the top. Control. Even with lightweight, only 12 and a half pounds, the blood's starting to move and you'll feel that burn coming in there, okay? Just keep moving. Keep driving, keep squeezing, keep the technique tight. You're gonna get great results from this, okay? So we're gonna move up. That was just a little warm up for me. We'll move up. Four sets, 20 reps each. Remember, 10 and 10. 10 pinkies out, 10 palms together. Let's blast these rear delts, all right? The 
you'll see one little thing I did there at the end of the set to make it even harder. I didn't bring the hands all the way together at the bottom. So you'll see here, I stopped right here, boom, and squez out there. So that took out that extra little bit of range of motion, but it also cut out any kind of momentum that you would have there too, okay? By chopping down that lever. So stop here and just squeeze there and try to do that for your last few reps and make it even more difficult, all right? Now we're gonna get right into the side medial delt, all right? We're gonna do that with the old school. Trust that it never fails. That lateral raise with the dumbbells, okay? Where we're gonna set it up, we're gonna do four drops. So I'll start at a weight and I'll increase for four sets of 12 reps each one. I'll break 20 seconds and then I'm gonna work my way down, okay? So we're gonna climb the ladder up, climb the ladder down, back up and back down for four total sets, all right? So I'm gonna start here. I'll go 12 and a half, 15, 20, end on 25. Break 20 seconds, back to the 25s, and back down, okay? So you're gonna climb that ladder, up and down, 20 second breaks, keeping technique nice and tight, all right? Let's go over technique really quick. So I'm here, I'm gonna let these come in the front. A lot of different variations you can do, but we're gonna touch these palms together in the front. One thing you wanna make sure you do, when we touch in the front, we don't wanna get that external rotation in the shoulder and just be hunched over like this, okay? So we're still gonna keep that shoulder blades retracted back, flare the lats out, so that way you can get here and still maintain really good posture, okay? So we're still aiming on that rear, that medial delt. You'll notice the angle of the arm and elbow. That's big time on side raise. You don't want the hand to get above the elbow and lead with the hand. Lead with the elbow, flex the shoulders, even at the bottom. Look at the hands as well. Holding different placements on the dumbbell will transfer the tension in different angles as well. So I'm gonna put the palm of my fist right up against the base of the dumbbell here. That's gonna allow me to turn it up a little bit at the top, get a little turn and rotation. Right there. Come on. Now you wanna to try to stay as stationary as you can on a rock too much and get to swinging. But if you need to cheat it a little bit, but still keep the technique tight and keep the tension on the shoulder, that's totally fine. Let's get it. Woo! Ah! So 25s were a little much. My time's ticking. Remember, 20 second rest. 25s were a little much, so I had to partial them at the, at the end, which is totally fine. So now I'm gonna drop down, and I'll go four, three drops, 20, 15, 12, okay? Twenty second break, jump right back in. Now, if it gets too heavy during the set, you can always do partial reps, which you still let me do on some of them. And you can always lower the reps, right? So you've got 20 seconds to adjust the weight. So if you need to drop down and go five, 10, 12, 15, whatever you need to do, just get those silent reps in, right? So we're headed right back up, and we'll climb right back down. All right, guys, for the next exercise, we're gonna come back to the cables. I'll show you the setup real quick. So we're gonna put the arm angle in hole 11 here at the bottom. We're gonna put the angle here for the base in hole number six, all right? 11 and six, let's get it. So now, we're gonna go through four exercises here, okay? Each one is gonna be 10 reps, but you gotta do them back to back to back, all right? No rest at all. We're gonna go through this, and you're only gonna do three sets of this, all right? So three sets, it's a giant set, four different exercises, 10 reps of each one, all right? Really burn it out. You're not gonna need a lot of weight on this, so I want you to start light, and then we can always work up, okay? So we're gonna start here first. We're gonna cross the cables here. We're gonna, first, we're gonna start out with a front Y raise, okay? So just like you're making a letter Y, the arms are gonna end like this over the top of the head, okay? From there, we'll scoot in. We're gonna go into a side raise right here, keeping tension on the shoulders at all times. From there, we'll step back 
We're going to do an H raise. So it's going to be more overhead right here, okay? Form an H. Last one, we'll step in, we'll flip up. We're going to do an overhead press, all right? Let's do it. First, starting with the Y raise. So I'm here. You'll see I don't go any lower, but about right here. Keep in tension. Next, we step in, right to the sides. Stop here, right back out. Now we're stepping back, going into the Y raise. Woo! Ah! Let it burn. Come on, cables. Ah, here we go. Now we're going to flip and press, baby, for the burner. Ah, 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 about to burn you down, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. About to hit it from every angle. Ah, I love it. Woo! So two more sets of that. Remember, we got four exercises, 10 reps of each one. Try to go through them all without taking a break. The accumulation of all the reps and the different angles and the constant tension that the cable provides is really gonna make the difference in that workout routine right there as far as that exercise set goes. So try that out, three reps of that, three sets rather, and then we're on to the next, all right. They got us again, man. Turn the lights off on us, but we're gonna keep rolling. Right in the mid set, too. Ah. That's just disrespectful. Ah, but we're gonna keep rolling. We got work to do. Yeah. Woo! So next one we're gonna get into is one that I feel like a lot of people sleep on. And that's the side raise just using a barbell, okay? So something about using that barbell instead of a dumbbell that just puts a different kind of tension on the muscle. So I love doing these, I really feel it. And I'm gonna show you how I do them. You can really see just the heads of the other shoulder just really popping all at the same time okay so we're gonna use the barbell here what we're gonna do we're gonna go barbell side raises but we're just gonna lean a little bit so what does the leaning do all the leaning does is create a different angle of the shoulder here so when I'm standing straight up right here there's no tension at all whatsoever at the bottom with my arms straight down now if I scoop my body in and lean with my arms straight down now there is tension okay so that's all it's doing we're just leaning to the side creating that little bit of angle Bodybuilding, building a physique, it's all about angles. So we're just gonna use that angle to our advantage on this one, right? So we're gonna go side rates here. We're gonna only do 12 reps. This will be one of the harder exercises just because you're already burned out from the cables, okay? So if you gotta do partial reps on these, whatever you need to do, totally fine, okay? So we're gonna go 12 reps each side, get a nice good lean. Still want the chest up though. Still want the latch flare. We're gonna activate the shoulder and drive squeeze control now you can slightly raise the barbell to the front a little bit what I'm doing here and that'll actually hit just slightly a little bit of the front and the medial so we're gonna bust that out. We're gonna do four sets of that as well. Remember, 12 reps each side. Try to keep the technique as tight as you can. I know you're getting tired and fatigued at this point, but we still gotta push through, all right? Lice or no lice, tired, not tired, burning, whatever it is, we're gonna still grind and still keep pushing forward, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, that's a good weight for me at this point of the workout, so I'm gonna stay there. We're gonna hit three more sets, 12 reps each side. We're gonna head over to the last and final exercise after that, okay? Let's get it. I totally forgot. We got two exercises left, actually. I don't even know how I forgot this one, because this is the bread and butter. The press, all right? So the overhead press, that compound movement, now that we've smoked the rear delts, we just lit up the medial delts, now let's come to the main staple, which is the overhead barbell press, all right? So a lot of times I like to do these using the Smith machine just because it's stable, you can really focus and just drive and squeeze. But today we're gonna go free bar. We're gonna use this here, okay? But we're not just gonna do this alone. We're gonna go from here, and we're gonna superset that with dumbbells, okay? So we're gonna go overhead press, 
boom. I'll show you how I do it technique wise. Right from the overhead press, we're gonna grab these and I'm gonna start with 40s. Now it's a little bit heavy, but you want it to be heavy. The reason why is we're just doing pulses, okay? So these pulses will completely light you up. So they're gonna be a side raise. This is gonna finish out the medial delt, but we're just gonna go here, okay? So you're not trying to get them up here high like we are when we're doing regular lateral raises, okay? So every weight, every exercise has its has its purpose, okay? So we're just going here because that's about all I got left in the rear in the lateral delt right now. It's just here, okay? So medial delt is pretty much smoked, but I still got enough to get that still worked out, all right? So that's what we want to do. Overhead press right into the dumbbells, okay? For the sake of this, for almost all my presses, I like to come in, okay? I try to tuck the elbows in a bit and just keep them in alignment with the shoulder. On a hand grip here, you'll see I'll take a false grip, meaning I'll let the bar actually rest in the palms and let the wrist bend back, right? Normally I would never do that, that's a no-no usually. You wanna keep the wrist locked and straight, and you can do that on this too. But I just feel like letting it roll back, taking a false grip on the bar, it gives that a little bit extra connection into the front delt there. That's what we're gonna do, okay? So I'm gonna press these out. You'll see I really drive, squeeze at the top, squeeze at the top, drop the bar, we'll go right into the dumbbells. I'll do a couple reps here, then I'll put some weight on, okay? So I'm here, got a false grip, elbows are in right in line with the shoulder, wrist, right in line, okay? Here we go, so I'm squeezing, boom, drive, flex, control down. On the way down, I'm gonna stop right about mouth level, okay? I'm not gonna dig all the way down deep into the shoulders here. We're gonna protect the shoulders, stop here, boom, squeeze. Lower it down with the shoulders, keep in tension, stop here, <clears throat> flex and squeeze. Rack it, slide out. We'll grab the dumbbells here. Boom, 20 pulses, drop them. That's one set, okay? So I'm gonna jump right in. I'm warmed up. I'm going to these, not counting reps on these presses. I'm literally just gonna get as many reps as I can. So maybe four, maybe six, maybe eight. I'll change the weight throughout the sets. You at least wanna be able to get at least three to four reps. You don't want it to be so heavy that you can't get one. So as long as you're getting three to four reps and up, I usually aim to at least try to get me eight. So we'll see, all right? So I'll jump here. We're gonna get 20 reps on the pulses. Three sets of these, okay? Not four, we're gonna go three sets total. These two exercises back and forth. Let's knock it out. Sometimes I like to hold it at the bottom just to make it harder. Time and attention, baby. Then squeeze. Ah, drop. Give me one more. Hit. Ah. <coughs> right to the pulses. So we're gonna do two more sets of that. Adjust the weight as you need it. Remember, don't count reps. If anything, just count seconds. Count how long you can keep that time under tension between reps and just burn them out, okay? Squeeze hard, hard contractions. Then when you get up, grab those weights, baby, and go to town. Just, just keep squeezing. Don't matter if you're barely moving, keep your technique tight, engage the muscles, and you're gonna get great results, all right? All right, guys, we made it. So we're here on the last and final exercise. And this time I didn't lie to you, this is really the last one. So we're gonna go, this is the muscles are already completely wiped out. We're gonna finish it right here on the machine, okay? So we got the machine lateral raise. And the reason I like to use the machine, is not only are the stabilizer muscles and everything is pretty much smoked at this point, but we wanna use this so that way we can really squeeze. And I love to finish by pumping a lot of blood in that muscle for the final exercise, okay? So you'll know I like to do six sets of 15 reps on that last and final exercise, okay? But the kicker is I wanna hold every 30 second break. So I'll do 15 reps and then I'm gonna hold for 30 seconds, another 15, hold for 30 seconds, another 15. We'll do that for six total sets and then we'll be done, all right? For this machine, this is how I want you to do the hold. So I'll come in, I'll hit my normal reps and then I'm gonna take the weight stack and I'm gonna pull the pin out I'm just gonna let it hang so there's barely any weight on there, only a 10, and that's gonna be the weight that you hold right here, right at 90 degrees 
for the 30 seconds, okay? That's gonna keep constant tension on the shoulder. Once I finish the 30 seconds, I'll put the pin back in on the desired weight, boom, and I'll bust out 15 reps there, okay? So that's how we're gonna rock and roll it. Let's get right into it, all right? These are the burners, baby. This is where the champs are made, all right? Let's get it. 15 reps, one key on these. I'm driving. When I come down, don't come all the way down to where the stack touches. Stop here so there's tension completely on the shoulder the whole time, okay? We don't want to come down and let the pressure off. Let's keep tension on there, okay? So I'm gonna drive up hard and fast. Once I get to 90, I'm gonna squeeze, control down with the shoulder. Last thing with the hands. Don't force it up, okay, with the hands. So don't grab this handle hard and squeeze it, be yanking the handle. No, barely, very lightly just touch the handles. So that way you're driving through the elbow, okay? Elbow, shoulder, boom. Drive through the elbow, okay, not the hand. Let's get it, that's enough talking, sorry about that. Here we go. Strip the weight out, 30 second hold. Right after this set, I want you to squeeze in the shoulders, contract them, right? Make sure they're contracted, that's the whole, that's the whole point of the hold. Contraction, squeeze it. And pin goes right back in. Adjust the weight if you need to. Go down if you need to. And we'll go right into the second rep, all right? Or second set, rather. We're gonna do six sets of that back to back to back, all right? Leave it all. One more. Come on, 30 seconds. Squeeze the muscles, even though you're holding, you still can squeeze. Oh! <laughs> ha! Love it. Woo! That's a burn, baby. That's a burn. Oh. Woo! Oh. oh, major pump, guys. Major pump. And that finishes it out right there. Guys, thanks. Thanks so much just for sticking around, going through the whole workout with me. I hope that you guys will try it out yourself. Please let me know in the comment section below how you liked it, how you enjoyed it. Just anything you want to add in, man. I truly appreciate your time. I appreciate your feedback and just being here with me and enjoying each other, man. So as always, the full workout will be down in the description below. Stats, reps, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, please reach out. I'll try to get back to all the comments down below. Send me a message, Instagram, Facebook, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. As always, man, thank you for your time. I'm humbled and I'm blessed to even have it. Until next time, God bless you, God keep you, and I'll see you again.